Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry about that. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. And today I'm looking at both the Titans Return Chrome Dome and the Walmart Retro Release Headmaster Chrome Dome. So same mold, different paint, and um, these ones do have the same face because as I've said in the previous ones, I have the third party that uh, had molded um, the Takara faces and released them in those paints. So I'm still trying to find those other ones. Um, I know I have them here somewhere. Uh, I have I have a lot of boxes and stuff <laughs> with uh, with yeah. <laughs> but let us get into the box for the Headmaster Chrome Ball. Whoops. And you can already see like the differences in paint on the two and you can see their guns sitting on top of them but here we have that classic g1 um um like uh box art um which it would have been it would have been pretty cool if we would have gotten the g1 headmaster chrome dome in the takara g1 chrome dome um in its um as a reissue but i'm fine with this as well i mean it's it's actually pretty cool uh look you know pretty cool option and they they had this mold readily available whereas i imagine the g1 chrome dome mold could have cracks could be so wore out that there's just no way I mean, the only the only way we would probably ever see that is if they got a hold of a G1 toy in immaculate condition and reverse molded it, you know, to or reverse yeah, reverse mold it to get a mold to do it. But that's pretty costly, and you know, we'd see those toys cost quite a bit. So, I mean, I'm I'm actually surprised and very excited with the Beast Wars reissues because. I thought a lot of those molds had been degraded um, or had degraded over the years. I mean, it's been, ooh, let's see, 20, see, 28, 26 years. So, yeah, we're, we're at 26 years for Beast Wars. But enough about Beast Wars. We're on Headmasters. So here we've got the head mode, head on. And of course, with the uh, G1 um, US, it's Autobot Styler or the uh, Headmaster Styler. The um, oh, I'm forgetting what their what what planet they were. Oh, why am I forgetting that? But um, here we got Transformers. Here we've got these four steps being shown on this side images of the toys same thing on this side and it actually it looks like well no it's it's that one but the head like it's hard to see but when we get to the head it's got more paint that's a little more noticeable on the bottom our barcode and same images of the toys and on the back, of course, that classic, classic box art that was on the back of these back in the day. Just looks so cool with Fortress Maximus. Got Ape Face. I think Snapdragon's around here somewhere. But there's Chrome Dome, Brainstorm. We got, oh, which one is that? Is that Repugnus? I think that's Repugnus. We've got Highbrow. We've got, oh, we've even got some of the another one of the monster bots i'm forgetting his name <clears throat> twin cast i think it was but yeah looks great there's scorponok that classic scorponok and of course here is his tech specs so I'll give you a, a chance to read that and then there you can see i mean it's easy to see without the little red barcode thing but then got our warning do not eat anything in this box and there we go so we'll take a look at our differences and i think the first thing we'll look at is the weapons which of course on both of them 
they just these two slots go into those two tabs and then pull apart these ones but yeah when you go into vehicle mode they just go together like that so same thing with this and here you'll see here's the titans return in this red and the retro release headmaster in this darker red same mold looks great though so, and then same thing with these ones and i've shown on previous but you can fit your headmaster or your titan master in to here like they'll sit down and yeah it's whatever it is but same mold and different colors this brighter red against this darker red and both look good <coughs> pardon me so now here we have titan's return and see it's the this sort of uh this brownish nice tampographed autobot sy symbol got details on the hood here got this nice red on the roof that same red on the side here we got that same brown going here kind of breaks it up um i will go over one what i like about the retro release over this one uh we do have blue for these headlights front of the car looks really nice so does the side translucent wheels like a translucent smoke color or smoky yeah, it looks very good and on the back it would have been nice if the tail lights would have been painted but what can you do could always add some paint yourself but um i'm one where i could be very messy and i don't want to mess that up I mean, like if maybe if i got stickers or something but you know then with the lines so so yeah same thing on that side and there's the bottom We'll get into the colors that we see at the bottom more when we get into robot mode. And here's the retro release. And so a little lighter blue for the headlights. Uh, tampographed uh, Autobot symbol, but not in the red. Different shape for the hood or hood on the um, this paint. And then it's got some red painted here. And different red painted on the roof. And then with this, I love the fact that they painted the rims. So that looks good. And then they didn't break up with the arm here, so it's just all one solid color and looks so much better. And then they painted, like you can see, it's black here and more of like a gunmetal gray on there. Again, it would have benefited from some taillights painted, but can you do? And yeah, and there's... So there's the front again love the look and style of that the sides the back and then the bottom and we'll get more into that in robot mode as well so next thing we shall look at and this is always a little difficult there we go so open up that bring out our headmaster so here's this one i'm not going to close that all the way and then same thing with him. So here we have the two Stylors. I, I I don't remember if Titans Return named it this one Stylor, but you can see the difference in colors. The brighter red faces unpainted, the darker red faces painted, and then you got the brown, like the color on the car, and then this more like light beige, like the uh, back of the car on the retro release still looks very nice and then here are their heads and you can see my third party uh head compared to the official and different colors but still works and i do like this one better honestly just so much brighter but it still looks good works very nicely and like i said with these so i'll just show with this one you just sort of bring his legs out And then I oh, want to bring his arms out a little more so and it's you got 
this is going to go into the slot, and then these two tabs are going to go into the slots on the back of the legs. But it's lining it up sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't want to... This one, at least, is giving me a problem. Okay, I think I got it. And then we can also add the gun, and it, and it could ride on top of the car just like that, but yeah. I don't know. It's it was something that they decided to do. I thought it was dumb on all of them. I mean, if I'm going to have my headmaster or titan master, he's going to be operating the vehicle or the animal. And because to me in my head I like the um Nebulans. So I like the fact that this is chrome dome compared to a Nebulan or human. And then the body is the trans sector it controls or, op or operates and then drives or operates in animal mode. So that's me. And I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> Just it hit me all of a sudden. But let us get in to robot mode. And I'll do what I usually do. I'll explain with the Titans Return one. And then I'll just go through and do a quick one with the retro release. So these we're gonna bring them back and it's gonna tab in on the legs right there and let me raise you up a little bit more so now what we want to do is we want to sort of bring out the arms and swing them down out of the way gonna bring this and bring this down out of the way and then untab the hood and then also bring it like that and we're gonna just hold it there for the moment now open up the legs here we can rotate them out and then close them back up rotate at the waist we'll bring the feet down separate them just like that and then we can finish off with the rest so bring this back down then this will come down and it's going to okay so there's these tabs right here that are going to go into these slots on the hood we want to make sure that everything's going to be out of the way so just like that and there's that and then we can bring out our hands bring out our hands and the final piece we fold up our titan master and we pop him on and there we go is he in all the way there we go now he's in all the way and here we go here we have titan's return chrome dome is robot mode and with third party face he looks good i like it he looks really good but let us take care of our retro release so just going to do this real quick since i explained with the titan's return And yeah, I know I'm sort of doing this one a little bit different. It's just sometimes, you know, it's been a while since I transformed these. And so going through him, it kind of like I saw an easier way of doing it. It just made more sense. his hands and his and there we go and now fold up his headmaster pop him in and there we go and here you can see the differences even more clearly between the retro release headmaster and the titans return 
release. So yeah, you can see the differences in, in the paint and we'll take a look at each one separately. So, whoops. <laughs> so there's, again, third party head, which I just like so much better than the official release head. <coughs> Which, yes, it looked more like the original toy, which is fine, but I personally prefer, you know, more screen accurate head. But you can see we got red and silver, Autobot tampographed right there, some silver here, silver and blue, red on the um, crotch, brown for his feet. And brown for his hands and you can see now this detail on the side yeah and then everything like it it folds up really nice back here just looks really good and articulation head is actually like the ball joint of the titans return or titan master head so we get movement back and forth look up look down a bit and that's it Arms come out that far, do full 360. Actually, we could bring them out even further on this transformation joint. But, yeah. We got bicep swivel. We got 90 for an elbow. And nothing at the wrist other than that in and out for transformation. We have waist, so that's very nice. Legs kick out that far kick back that far we have thigh swivel here and then with this being on the ball joint we get a little extra right in there mm, just a bit over 90 for the elbow oh, full van dam and lay or feet just go up and down so there is that as well And then taking a look at the retro release headmaster and again i love the paint on this one so much better with this head love that the uh the arms are like all one full color yeah it doesn't have the silver here on the shoulders anymore but that's fine um great paint here i mean it's it's closer to the screen or the uh, animation so that's that was the whole point got brown here and then silver looks all good definitely like that definitely think that works so much nicer and of course his um, articulation is the same as that but and take a good look at the differences here So, like, he's got these uh, cream, cream-colored uh, thighs, and he's got these brown thighs. You know, his coloration is uh, more of a cream than this, like, off-white or lighter cream. And then, you know, with the feet, it just it looks so nice. I like it all. I like them both. I mean, that's a whole other reason for, for having them both or hanging on to them both. And then, of course, we can give them their weapons so he gets his there's that one whoops <laughs> throwing everything around here here's that one all right there we go and then he gets his so there's that weapon and then here's this weapon and there we go there they have their weapons they look good i really do like these so if you're looking for them you may have an easier time finding the titans return one with the more toy accurate uh face um <clears throat> If you're looking for the retro release, I don't know how well how easy that's going to be to find with decent um, or at a decent price. 
but if you are looking for these i wish you the best of luck i hope you find them at the price that you feel is is right or is is a good price so but that's going to be it for me for titan's return chrome dome and retro release headmaster chrome dome so there you go so i want to thank you for watching Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.